और अगेस्ट सो वेलकम बैक वंस अगेन इफ यूर समू टू माई चैनल मैनी मिज दिखलेश इफ यू आर अ करंट स्टूडेंट हु इज करंटली प्रोसोइंग बैचलर्स इन सिविल इंजीनियरिंग दिस वीडियो इज फॉर यू सो टूवर्ड्स द एंड ऑफ दिस वीडियो यू विल गेट टू नो विच आर द लिस्ट ऑफ यूनिवर्सिटीज वेर यू कैन अप्लाई फॉर सिविल इंजीनियरिंग एंड देयर सब डिपार्टमेंट्स वॉट सैलरी एक्सपेक्टेशन यू कैन हैव वॉट इज द करंट जॉब ऑफरिंग्स मार्केट हैज टू ऑफर वेन कम्स टू सिविल इंजीनियरिंग डिपार्टमेंट so these are the major focus of this video if you think this is something what you're looking for that then continue watching till the end before i go ahead i also want to highlight that if you're someone who is let's say working for 4 5 years 6 years now you also have a chance to apply in public university and study masters in civil engineering here if you directly want to jump on to the part where i'm talking about the list of colleges then directly jump here otherwise continue watching because i have definitely more than the list of colleges to offer in this video civil engineering as a industry is one of the most thriving and the most stable industries i have ever known of i mean look at the real estate here in berlin I and mean, people are they are crying every day uh, because things are soaring up the prices are going high and so does the industry if you look at the history of this industry whether you talk about italian renaissance or whether you talk about spanish gothic architecture the european architecture what we are talking about lot of buildings are now getting renovated some of the buildings right here in this city are older than 200 300 years 500 years as well every now and then there is always a new job coming up the more infrastructure germany is expanding the more jobs are coming up whether you talk about autobahns whether you talk about bridges whether you talk about uh, hydraulics uh, on the water side whether you talk about all sort of civil engineering work because civil engineering as a industry is very very vast because it has a subsection and a subsection has further 10 departments under them so the bottom line for you to know is there are jobs there are enough qualified universities which are in the world ranking to offer you state of the art facilities so this is what i want to say and encourage you that if you're someone who's currently studying bachelors you should definitely apply for masters in civil engineering here in germany and guess what you can study absolutely for free only with a bare minimum semester contribution let's start the video so before we begin there is a google form in the description of this video you can jump onto that and fill in your details we'll stay in touch we'll see what best we can do for you when it comes to helping you with the admission or the visa support whether it's this year 2022 or for next year 2023 If some of you are interested to have this presentation I'll uh, give it in the description or I'll send it uh, over to you via email once you have filled out a Google form if you're interested to talk to me personally and talk about your profile people also you know very often book personal appointment with me so you can click it right here and it will take you directly onto that uh, website where you can book the appointment I've been doing this long enough now for a little over 4 or 5 years now and i've seen thousands of students and and i'm happy to tell you that i've been part of their success story and exactly by doing that mentorship was actually born uh, i learned a lot on the ground here that what are the do's and don'ts and uh, that's how i've designed my 12 months of program you can easily become part of it by enrolling it by clicking on the link on the screen or in the description i'm going to drop a link there this mentorship basically starts helping you while you're in india and it only stops here in germany when you are on a part time job so that's how the whole chapters are designed some of the highlights are already mentioned on the screen right here but then this is just like the tip of the iceberg it goes really really deep so to begin with if you're someone who is currently studying let's say in x university okay and you want to know whether your university or the course what you're studying in that university in your bachelor's is that recognized or not as per german database which is called as anabin basically in a nutshell anabin's job is to is to see the equivalence of your bachelor's what you studied bachelor's in mechanical in india let's say for example to bachelor's here in germany in mechanical and what you have to see is your university has something called as h plus so i'll quickly show you how you can check your university whether it's approved by anabin or not just go on google and type anabin dot de when you're here go to the first link right here and go to institution okay go to search let me just switch this for you in english oh my selection i think it's there from previously so it's selected india in your case you have to open country selection and just 
press i and it will show india or list of countries with i confirm place where in india let's say i want to check mumbai i'm going to go and type m and then say uh mumbai maharashtra so this is where you will see amity university mumbai uh, it's a private university and it's h plus that means it's approved and likewise you have to go and look for your university you can change the city name to something else wherever you come from you know and then uh let's say mangalore you can see it right here okay so for example this university it's h minus now that this university is h minus this whoever is studying in this university will have to go through an extra process of validating their degree and a university from anabin and there is a altogether different process which i don't want to get into right now but yes make sure that your university is h plus list of documents what you need to apply in a university which is uh, right here nine things uh, primarily bachelor's degree transcripts for all eight semesters consolidated mark sheets or if you're someone who is currently in eighth semester then provisional degree you need sop let's say you're applying for 10 different universities then you need 10 different sops uh, designed you need three at least three uh, letter of recommendations ielts 6.5 overall and you need to give academic ielts not general ielts there are two types that's why work experience letter if you have any internship or ECA stands for extra curricular activity uh if you have published some academic papers uh cv in europass format a uh, course module book course module book is uh, basically your entire mechanical engineering uh you know in a pdf format what was the course content what you were taught you can get it from your administration so these are the nine documents which are the basis of application so there are two intakes in germany one is in summer one is in winter summer starts in april the deadline is 15th of jan normally the application actually begins in by november december onwards for winter it starts in october the deadline is may uh, 15th sometimes the deadlines can also go till june 15th so in germany uh, the application is done via three ways via university portal via my assist or combination of first and second now how do you know that which way a university is willing to take your application well you will have to check on the course website one is the highest you can score here in this country four is bare minimum like just pass anything beyond four is fail now many of you would already have your grades into either cgpa or sgpa or percentage how can you calculate that from that grading system to german gpa i have i have this link right here uh which i'm going to click now and it will take us directly onto the website of technical university munich we're going to convert the grades let's say the highest what uh, high cgpa one can get is 10 uh the bare minimum required to pass the degree is 5 and you got let's say 7.2 that's your german gpa right here you know 2.6 is something what you have got if yours would be let's say 8 then it's 2.2 so this is how you calculate grades so moving forward from here on all right now that you have seen that there are so many colleges how do you keep track of them there is a there has to be a structure to it so in nikshala in our company we follow certain way of doing things which has been the most efficient what i've seen over the course of time you're on google make sure that you go ahead and make this on google sheet right here now that you're here uh, first of all go ahead and change the name of the file university so this is a kind of structure what i personally uh, would like to have when it comes to you know shortlisting of the university it starts with serial number right here then it goes on to university and uh, under university there is two types one is the university name and the type of university so if it's tu then you write tu right here okay uh and then there is a course uh what course is this so you know in this case it's computational engineering you can see that how many semesters the program is of what is the deadline does it require you to have german or not does it require you to have ielts or not 
what is the prerequisite have they given any bachelor's requirement what they need what gpa what german gpa does it require like for example 2.5 first class with distinction ects requirement if it's 210 or 180 if it requires sop or not if it's yes then just type yes lor then how many lors if you have given test as or gre what has been your score here mode of application is it via uni assist or is it via direct portal you know then the the course website as you can see it's right here it's displaying out and if you have any email id of the course coordinator this is the typical format i like to follow here it has proven to be very successful for last so many years i have used this format with different students all right so we're going to move on from here so this is a slide where i'm going to show you which are the universities for masters in civil engineering once you have this ppt just go here and click a link i have embedded a link which will take you directly to the list i'm talking about or i'm going to show you right now so i have this list uh, given to me by one of my friend who is current student of university of stuttgart his name is rk he's the same guy who gave me tour campus tour of uh, university of stuttgart he is a civil engineering student so before i show you and share this list with you i want to go on dart and offer you some more options beyond this list uh, go on dart uh, go on google and just type dad international programs go in the first link right here once you're on this page just go and type msc civil engineering course name masters course language english and field is engineering search if you go in the subject there is a section which says civil engineering come down and select your tuition fees to 500 euros per semester only go here and type winter semester all right so now your results what you can see is only 22 you just ha have to go into individual cards and the way i showed you on the excel sheet start filling this information out for yourself depending on what area are you interested in there there is total of three pages now as i said civil engineering has a lot of sub domains under them um so it's it's very hard to get only civil engineering you will have to go with you look for example um on the left hand side there are universities on the right hand side program names are there um smart city solutions or environment engineering urban development advanced architecture construction real estate management project management energy and environment management so these are the areas where people are doing their entire masters uh, which is built around this topic once you have this ppt when you press that link it should definitely show you uh, this page right here talking about specializations in the field of civil engineering what i've seen with a lot of students is what you can see they go for construction structural mechanics uh, structural physics construction maintenance computation and engineering uh, if you look at the bottom uh, materials hydraulic engineering water management uh, all of this is something where you can specialize yourself i've taken this data particularly from uh, technical university munich website because there is a program there for civil engineering uh, offered you can take this as a template and you can expect if you go to any other university these are the specializations where you can specialize yourself in and try to write your thesis within the same space and then eventually look for a job in the same topic what you've written your thesis in because that's how people get a full time job here because there's no concept of campus placement the point is make sure that you narrow down your area of interest from second or third semester itself so that eventually when you are looking for a full time job you have very focused goal uh to target on so these are the specializations um i've seen students doing and universities offer here so talking about full time jobs in the field of civil engineering now as far as my understanding and my network goes i have a lot of friends in the southern part of germany or the western side of germany um they got two things absolutely right they were a subject matter expert of their field that means technically they were very strong means five out of five second thing they were able to speak the language now you got to understand the nature of job of civil engineer is to communicate a lot with local vendors a uh, lot of you know people on the ground basically and they don't speak uh, english for you you know so it's very important that you start learning german um, from the very beginning in fact even 
right now as well during your application process it will be very good if you want an internship or a part time job very quickly um it's really really important that you start learning german and get to b1 or b2 level at least for a full time employment preferably of course c1 but for a full time employment for your cvs to get approved you need at least c1 or c, uh, sorry b b1 or b2 so i went on google and i just typed civil engineering jobs and these are some of the positions which i saw uh, i mean company like tesla is also open uh, for jobs tesla just came like a couple of years back in germany um, very close to berlin there are a lot of job openings there are a lot of other companies as well if you look at the positions construction inspector uh, engineer for permitting civil engineer civil engineer project manager engineering structures um structural design engineer you know so on and so forth so i'll uh, you know like oh wow dhl is also there so i'll put this link in the description you can directly get here and see for yourself which space of civil engineering are you interested in because i know there are a lot of jobs now all of this what you see i mean look at this 3 days back 5 hours back 1 day back 3 days ago so the, i mean there is crazy amount of job only thing is that do you fulfill the requirement i mean companies like db is there deutsche bahn is there dhl is there i'm pretty sure a lot of you guys have this question of hey how much salary can we expect can you give, can you give us an idea well this is your website to go to, go to so i just selected berlin uh, just to give you an example on an average the scale what they're giving me is uh, 3767 euros to all the way 4000 716 euros per month do people really get this well this is just a window and estimations what we are talking about uh in terms of civil engineering project management train station uh, maintenance management buildings project management train stations uh for the surface for sub project management for the new tram berlin line so these are some of the projects by you know at least like bvg bvg is like a transportation company here in berlin this is what their average salaries look like uh what you see right here this is per month and you can do the calculations per year now so hop onto this website change the city let's say we go munich so for munich you can see on an average you can expect 4400 uh, euros per month for a year it could be 55000 per year so this is gross earnings what we are talking about of course there is going to be tax de- deductions and all of that like a 40% as you can see there are companies who are open with their positions and this is what the average salary per annum looks like you can of course changes to per month and this is what the per month looks like we are on the last slide if you want to get enrolled for the program you can just click right here uh, as i said you can have this pdf for yourself and uh, yeah get in touch with us we'll be happy to help you out so yeah if you have made it till here thank you so much for tuning in now that you have the list of colleges and all the required documents go ahead and apply whether or not you want our help but make sure that you're tight on your timeline uh because that's where a lot of people make mistake so having said that thank you so much and uh, if you like this video please go ahead and hit that thumbs up button and i'm going to see you guys next time